So today I will show you how you can render multiple layers in Unreal Engine 5 with render graphs. And the first thing you have to do is you have to download Unreal Engine 5.4 because this feature is only available in Unreal Engine 5.4. So now what you have to do, you have to just go to your render, movie render queue. And if you're not getting this movie render queue option, then you have to go to the edit plugin and you have to just enable movie render queue. You have to write movie, movie render queue. So you have to enable this thing, movie render queue and you have to restart your unreal engine so after that you have to just go and add a render so in my case this is test one so this is my level sequencer and i will turn off the upper two one so i just want to render this thing so you have to just make sure that this is enabled and other two are not enabled after that you have to click on this one arrow and you have to replace this thing with a graph this is a default render graph now it will look something like this first thing you have to do you have to save this thing go to file and then you have to just choose a directory i will choose render and i will just name this thing test one test one okay so we have the test one you have to you have to double check this thing that the names are correct and after that you will see something like this okay so this is we have the warm-up warm -up settings we have global override we have global output and then we have deferred render and all the stuff that we see in the normal movie render queue uh, settings okay and before doing anything you have to make sure that you go to your project setting and in this one you have to enable you have to write alpha and you have to enable this thing to linear color space only okay uh, and you have to restart your unreal engine or else it will not render the transparent background so you have to enable that setting that is very important and then you can just go to your graph so i will just drag drop this thing there Okay, so we have the warm-up settings here. Make this thing zero for now because I don't need warm-up. And there is a motion blur option also. And you can just leave this setting like that. It was similar to the normal movie render settings. You have to just change the settings. Uh, I will just render this thing at 1080p, 24 FPS. You have to select your directory. I will just uh, save this thing there. There we have a deferred renderer and this will render our lumen lit mode. In lit mode, there you can see we have a lit mode option. You can use other options also. Unlit, you can use anything. I'm using lit. And there is a, a spatial sample count. I will leave this thing one for now. And there we have the anti-analyzing method. I will choose temporal super resolution. And if you want to add the temporal sample also, you can just write Yeah, this one sampling method. You have to just connect this one to this and like that. And now you can just increase the temporal sample count. I, I will leave this thing like that. Okay, so what we need to render. I want this cube to be separated and the background to be separated. I need two layers, the cube one and the background. And you have to make sure that you are using PNG or EXR to get alpha channel. Because if you are using JPEG, then it will not uh, render the alpha because JPEG is not supported with alpha. So you have to make sure that you use PNG or EXR. And if you need EXR, you have to just write EXR and you can get this EXR one. And you can connect this thing to there. Uh, you can remove this thing. And for the EXR multi-layer, this one, if you try to connect this thing with the this one it will show error so you can't connect this thing with the graph line you have to connect this thing to your global settings okay so you have to just go there and you can connect this thing there okay now what you have to do is you will get a collection option and you have to create if you're not getting this collection folder then you have to search for collection and you can just add this collection so in this one i want the cube to be separated so in this collection name you can name this thing to cube and it is very important to name this thing properly because if you try to make it default like uh, empty then it will be very hard to find the proper folders so i will recommend you to just give a name so in your case it will look something like that empty so what you have to do you have to just add and in the group you will see actor name and you can choose your uh choose your this uh folders or you can say the actors or anything the cube the sky direction light everything uh in this in this thing okay so they give some options like you can select through sub uh, sub level editor folder component type and everything so most of the time you will use actor actor tag actor name you can use anything i'm using actors so you have to click on the actor go to your main folder i want the cube to be separated so i will select the cube i will go to the actor i will just click on this one 
and then add selected in the outlier so the cube will be selected there okay then what i will do i will just press ctrl d then i can connect this thing to this one and this thing to this one okay and now you can see that we have two separate collection one is for cube and one is for background bg okay and i i will remove this thing and what you can do i want to select the background okay so for the background i will just select the cube go to the select and invert selection so what it will do it will select everything instead of your cube and then you have to just go to your graph go to add actor add and add selected in outline okay so like this you can select everything at once so the collection one is the cube one and the collection two is the background and we select everything in the background except the cube and the cube is in the this collection so you have to separate this two things into different collection and it can be anything uh suppose if you have a character in your scene then and you want to separate the character from the background then you have to just create this thing and instead of cube you have to just add your character or anything whatever you want to add so it will separate that thing okay so now we have this two things and now we have to do the layering stuff so we have one layer now okay so if i show you if i just oh sorry so if i just go and render this image and you have to make sure that this thing is not in the default render graph you have to go to this one and you have to choose your graph so in my case i have test one you have to select the correct graph and then you have to press render local okay so now you can see we have this thing and now we have just one layer and it is rendering just one layer so we have just one layer that's why it is just rendering one layer but i want it to be separated okay so what we have to do we have to just duplicate this layer i can name this thing cube and i can name this thing bg okay so again the naming is very important it will help you to identify the layers or the collection easily and now we have to connect this thing to the output okay so but you can see we don't have any output so in order to create that thing you have to just go to your output and you have to create a layer okay and you will get the output layer you have to just connect this thing to that one okay and now this is very important okay so we have a thing called and the graph is modifiers okay so the modifier will help us to separate our cube from the background okay so this thing will help us to separate this cube and the background so i will just connect this thing to this one and this thing to this one okay like this so in the modifier you can name this thing uh, i will name this thing cube and we have cube there okay so what i want is i want to separate my cube for so i will name this thing cube and i will just turn on this setting hold out okay and then in the collection you have to select your background so in the cube modifier you have to select your background and in the background modifier you have to select your cube so it is vice versa stuff like that so now we separated the cube from the background and if i show you the render so this render layer is connected to this one and this is empty so this will not render properly but this thing will render properly okay so if i just render this thing out now you can see we have a separate cube and we have a transparent background okay and now we want to render the background also but without the cube so what i can do i can just duplicate this thing and make sure that you rename this thing i will rename this thing to background bg and in this one i want to now select i will remove this thing i want to select cube because i want to remove the cube from the background so in the cube i don't want it to be hold out so you have to turn this thing so you have to just make sure that in the background you always need to make sure that this thing is turned off hold out and you have to enable all these settings okay you have to enable these things in the background and for a specific object you need to use hold out okay like this you can just connect this thing to your background layer and from this thing you can connect this thing to that one save your graphs go to your render layer and then press render local and now you will see we have two layers we are capturing the shadow and we are capturing the cube also so you can see we have all the folders not folder all the images there and for demonstration i will just drag drop this thing there and you can see we have separate layers i will remove this thing we don't need this one so we have this layer and we have this layer this one is empty and we can overlap this thing on top of each other and you will see it is looking good and similarly you can render anything suppose i if i add another circle or something like this multiple objects like this it will render everything okay and if i put this thing like that 
and now what you have to do you have to just go to your outliner and you have to select your cone and your spear because the cube is already added to our graph you have to go to your cube and then you have to just go and add your cone and spear in the collection of your cube okay and now if you go and save this and if you render this out you will see our cone cube everything is there and it is casting shadow also so if i drag drop this thing this is the background layer and this is the top layer okay so yeah that's it for this tutorial i think this will help you thank you for watching